Joey Drew, do I know someone with that name? Sounds familiar. We're Joe, what are the chances your brain is mixing too many names together to so it's formulating someone you've never seen believe. before? Well, now that you mentioned it, there's a chance for that to be but the case. Step back. But I'm gonna assume the formal when and not the latter. Hey, excuse me, gentlemen, I can't hear what the woman been. is saying. And the things you've done. Your past will come. devour you. Wait, what kind of devour are we talking about? I hope it's not the kind I'm thinking of. Joe, what are you talking about, mister? 1973, golly, what days those were. Back in my days, we used to have an incredibly old TV that my parents were able to afford, and we would be able to watch many old cartoons on there. Joe, you know all of us experienced that age of the era where televisions were starting to take over society? You know, sometimes I forget you two are not that much younger than me. No way I'm getting through tonight without some coffee. Probably some downstairs. Oh my gosh. Hand-drawn animations. Back in the days, For animation wasn't adventure. some fancy computer-generated effect that did all the heavy loading for the studios, no. Back then, they had to hire actual artists to draw every single little frame and effect that happened, and they had to stay long and tiring hours just to do so. So what they did was bring a lot of women to do the job right because all the other men were responsible for some other stuff no one really cared about. Holy cow, literally nothing happened yet and you've managed to tell us a whole story about animation and made a presumptuous drawback to some dude named Joey Drew. Are you suggesting you don't like to hear Joe's wax stories? I only like the ones where something funny has happened in his life. I'm not exactly sure if I should feel offended or surprised that you even like some of my stories at all. Okay, okay, anyways, what it is everyone? It is me, Barack Obama, here with Donald Trump to watch Joe Biden. Um. I don't know, just something. Yeah, guys, we haven't delved into this game in particular just yet. We don't know exactly what's the end goal. I, on the other hand, have played the original Bendy and the Ink Machine, but even then, that doesn't really specify what we do towards the end of the game. I know nothing about Bendy in general. I'm just here enjoying how much this place really does fit the old times. Well, without further introduction, let us just head into whatever we're supposed to do, which for now, I think we will- Oh my gosh. gosh. I don't want to play this game anymore. Jesus, nothing has happened yet and we already got frightened. I cannot believe that actually caught me off guard. We just started and something happened without immediately threatening us. I don't know why, but I don't like the way he's looking at us. Something about that smile does look pretty uncanny. Not gonna lie. On second thought, I think I changed my mind about enjoying the aesthetics. This is starting to look creepier the further we go down to... Wait, what are we even getting again? We were getting coffee, I think. We're getting something as simple as coffee. This has been way too eventful so far. I swear to God, man, I'm gonna have some sort of cardiac arrest from those lightning strikes. The game is kind of loud, actually. I gotta admit, getting a little freaked out really? by the weather is nuts. They locked me in. Good thing I brought my own key today. My own keys? Something that this woman isn't carrying around her in case of an emergency like this crazy thunderstorm? It's fine, Joe. I'm sure they're in her office or something. It can't be that hard to find. Why even is there a beeping alarm going off? Who put this here? This place is haunted. This place is haunted. All right, this game is crazy. God, man, what is it with this weather? Trump, can't you do something to stop it? The frick you doing looking at me for? I don't know how to tell the weather to stop roaring. That's Jesus's job. It's okay now, guys. The key's been found. Just get your coffee already, Joe. Who's this pretty lady here? She looks so beautiful. I want to know her name. Joe, don't be sleeping on your wife like that, man. What? I wasn't implying that, I swear. Oh, trust me, Mr. Biden. It starts small, but then it snowballs very quickly. Okay, whatever you say, Mr. Trump. the most welcoming hallway I've ever seen. And this woman works here? Is there anyone even here with her? There's no way she's the only one working overtime here. Oh man, you'd be quite surprised, Obama. Many corporations back then used to get away Hello? with a lot of stuff. Is someone there? Having employees working overtime by themselves is nothing new in history. Actually, I'm pretty sure something like that still happens even in today's day and age. 
Wasn't there some sort of reports about Marvel Entertainment making their employees overwork nonstop on just the computer animated stuff alone? Wait, are you serious? Seriously, think about the amount of products Marvel has turned out on just these past three years alone. Yeah, it's kind of wild what they've been doing. Makes me wonder how those employees haven't gone on strike yet. Who knows, maybe it's not as bad as we all think. Oh my God, who's there? Who in the actual frick is that? Wilson? You scared me to death. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know who this Wilson is, woman? He does not look like Didn't the type of employee that should be staying this late at night. No Can you stop calling her woman? She has a name, you know. She does? What the heck is her name then? Her name is Audrey, all right? Let us just listen to these two talk for a bit. All right, all right, I'll listen. yourself. Mind if I step in? Uh... Of course not. Thank you, Audrey. You look like you could use a little company. Oh, great. Now we got this weirdo just chilling with us in the elevator. This is the exact type of scenario this woman gets assaulted. Hey, hold on, Donald. Let's so, not jump to conclusions just yet. Maybe he's a really nice fellow nice and we're just passport. judging him by his looks. Yes. On one hand, you're right, Biden. But on the other hand, this is a video game. And a lot of video games use these type of visual cues to give us their character from the start. What was that? And I don't know about you, but no good innocent man has one blank eye and an extremely weird tone of voice. Not to mention, we denied him access to ride the elevator with us, and he still came in anyway. He's up to something, 100%. Let's see what we can find. Come along now. Old Wilson will protect you. And that type of tone he gave us just saying that gives me the assumption we're getting assaulted. Okay, 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 I get it. There's a chance he might actually be evil and stuff. Let's just see what happens. Ah, there we are. Just a few more switches to throw. Follow me. This doesn't look like where we get coffee. Where is this place? We have to be led to some sort of trap. There's just no way. Joey Drew was the founder of the studio and the man who created Bendy, one of the most beloved cartoon characters of all time. In 1929, with the help of his business partner, Henry Stein, he created Bendy's first short, Little Devil Darlin', as an early talkie cartoon. As his entertainment legacy grew over the years, Joey's optimism and pioneering spirit never wavered. Starting with just a pencil and a dream, he created this studio. Here at Archgate Pictures, we strive to continue his dream and see Bendy live on. Dreams come true. Something about the description of that man feels strange. Gosh, this is really taking me back to the olden days. Animators or filmmakers making in the middle of doing whatever and then getting their pictures taken which then ended up becoming such a historical piece that some still talk about to this very day. And judging from this collection, this place is stored, either this studio just marveled their inventions or this is a studio after whatever was the originally Mr. Drew ran. You know, sometimes I always wonder what was going on before and after pictures like these. How were those animators feeling that day? What was it like in there? Was there air conditioning? Questions like those. Is what makes you wanting your youth back or something? In a sense, yeah. Stuff like that is indeed what makes me wish it was 19 something all over again. Well, at least after the Great Depression and all. Like seriously, I'm positive I had a photo similar to this hanging on my walls back when I was in middle school. Okay, seriously, there's no denying it. We're being led somewhere that isn't where we're even supposed to be in the first place. Donald, are you okay, buddy? Yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. I don't know how Audrey is just able to trust this weirdo on a whim like this. Looks like Unless they've known each other for some time, I refuse to trust there someone like something Wilson. something on each of these pedestals. Audrey, sweet Audrey. Okay, you, you know what? I think Do Donald's right. This guy's weird. Favor. And go find them. I'll tend to the power. Okay, wait, I think I know exactly what we're supposed to do here. And what is it, Donald? Well, assuming jumping out the window isn't an option, we have to look for items that match the pictures on the podiums. 
This is exactly like the first game in the first chapter, so I know what we're looking for. What about some of the vague pictures like the book and such? Don't worry, I'll tell you when we see it again. Oh, I thought we were about to do something with that wrench. Guess not. Wait, it's that simple. Yes, it is indeed that simple. The music note might be the music player on the desk there. Oh my gosh, that thing is so cute. Maybe I should get it for my daughter so she can stop having a fit on the toilet. I'm sorry, what? I'm just now realizing why are we even gathering these items in the first place? Why do they require to be put on a podium? Oh my gosh, wait, I think I know why. We're 100% trapped guys. Whoa, okay, Trump share with us why we're in a trap. We're grabbing these items for the ink machine. I know this because this is exactly what I did in the first game. What, are you serious, Donnie? Yes, I am. In fact, when I did turn on that ink machine, chaos immediately starting happening. It took down the entire complex and spawned the ink demon. The ink what now? The ink demon. What the heck is an ink demon? Oh yeah, that's right. We haven't got to that part yet. Well, now I'm incredibly concerned. All right, now we just have to find the gear wheel and we can die. Is it here? Oh, my ears, bro. Okay, guess we just now need to prepare to brace ourselves then or something. Well, so much for having a simple coffee. Only one thing left to do. Pull that switch. The one over there, Mr. Wilson. It is done. Oh, fantastic. He was so kind enough to lock the door on us in the half a second we weren't looking. Well, guess we really are screwed. He can never have a normal day in any office, huh? Motion. What's happening? The ink is calling us, my dear. Stay back. Listen to me, Audrey. Pay attention to these last words. Because very soon, you will forget everything. Let go! Whoa, Come this just got turned up to the 11 already. I'm sorry, what is he about to do to us? It's one thing we're trapped in here, but it's another when he puts the paws on Audrey. Okay, yeah, this guy's pulling the creep mode on us. We die. What are you doing? Oh, no. What, what the? the? Did he just drown us? I was expecting many things, and somehow that was the last thing I expected. Man, no matter where we go, cults just follow us everywhere. Wow, what an intro to the game. You say that like as if it didn't scare you or impress you? Oh no, it's not that. Just now wondering what the rest of the game's even gonna look like. Okay, that's disgusting. What the heck are we even covered in? Well, since we drowned in literal ink, what do you think, Joe? I suddenly feel like vomiting after you said that. Please do not do that, Joe. Where the heck am I? What happened to the good old days office? Is this purgatory? As someone who's played the first Bendy in the ink machine, I'm just as lost as you guys are. I wonder if that very ink machine has some sort of special property where it sends us to its own dimension. I mean, I can't see how this is purgatory with just how odd this place looks. Seriously, where the heck are we? I don't think I've ever seen a place like this before, at least in the back rooms. It was with 
familiar locations and all. Well, unfortunately, that's going to have to remain a mystery, according to this note. What the heck are we even looking for in the first place, though? Okay, before I do read this, if we end up finding a lot of these, should we give some sort of synopsis on what the notes are about? Assuming this is going to be a pretty lengthy game, maybe we should. The last thing the viewers want is for us to spend half of the video just reading notes found littered across the complex. Uh, so then what's the synopsis of this note, Obama? So in this note, a guy named Alan Gray, a CEO of the Gent Corporation, wanted to inform someone that Joey Drew needs to know that if the studio does go bankrupt, Mr. Gray will forcefully take back the equipment Joey's studio borrowed. Wait, Joey Drew, the guy who had the great and amazing description laid out about him, was bankrupted. Not that he was, but if the rumors were true and that the studio was going bankrupt, they would lose the equipment. Something about that note already makes me feel suspicious about this Joey Drew guy. Why have a whole thing about him being so amazing, but then have this note saying his studio might be out of money? Guess we'll find out later eventually. What's with the crying voice in the background? How do I get to it? What if it's someone who needs our help? I don't think you can right now. As you tried earlier, you can't get past whatever part of the ocean of ink was. We have to find a new way out. But the game isn't even allowing me to get up through the ladder. What other way am I supposed to go? Just keep searching. There's got to be something we're missing. Wait, are there steps that are missing? Maybe I have to find those. Oh, there they are. Now we can use the ladder, right? I would assume so. There's quite literally nowhere else to go. Ah, there we go. Now we can get out of here. There seems to be a music box right there. Something is going to happen, I swear. What makes you say that, Obam? Well, it's because it's a horror game. What do you think horror games usually hide inside of music boxes? Relax, bro. Let's just see what happens. Oh, this is cute. There are so many of these products I need to get for my daughter. These really would stop her from destroying the bathroom, especially the toilet. What is it with your children and something about the bathroom? First, Bill Clinton's son covers your bathroom in heck, and Hunter goes monkey mode. And now you're telling me your daughter takes her anger out on the toilet. What's up with that? Uh, you see, Obama, it's a bit of a long story, but I'd rather talk about that later when there's not a whole lot happening here. Then let us just get a move on, then. Whoa, what? Who's there? It's an announcement, Joe. Be quiet, real quick. This is Wilson, your friend, your protector. For 211 days, you've lived without the ink demon haunting your steps. What? Among you, there is a stranger, a young lady. Bring her to me. Oh no, that's our cue to get the heck out of whatever this place is. Oh great, so now we have the entire place just after us. Thanks for nothing, Wilson. Real great bud you are. Hang on, I'm still scratching my head after what Wilson said earlier. He killed the ink demon? No way, he has to be lying. What's so special about this ink demon? The ink demon was the primary antagonist in the original Bendy and the Ink Machine. He was portrayed as this horrific being that you and every single one should never come into contact with. He was like the king of the jungle, except in this complex. But now you're telling me some crazed lunatic killed him? I don't believe him. Okay, wait, if he is lying, then what are we supposed to do about it? If he is lying, then that demon is still roaming this place and we must avoid him. If Wilson genuinely isn't lying, then I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to think. Maybe this game's trying to hype up Wilson as some sort of final boss. Well, whatever the case is, it all sounds the same to me. If I see anything trying to hurt me, I just dip. Obama, analysis. You mean you want me to give a synopsis? Analyzing and synopsis are two different things, Joe. Okay, well anyways, what is the synopsis, Obama? This note is giving creepy details about something coming to get us, likely coming from the darkness.
Never have I ever been so creeped out by something as simple as a door opening. Yeah, I was a little tensed up, not gonna lie. Oh Jesus, my God, God what the heck? Please save me again. What the heck was that? I don't wanna play this game anymore. What the heck is that? You, what the heck is that? Is he dead or something? I can't remember what that thing was, but holy moly, I was not expecting that. Is this like a corpse or something? What even killed him? I don't know, but maybe we should get the heck out of here in case whatever did this to him finds us. Whoa, a tape? I remember back in my days, we only had these cassette tapes. You couldn't rewind by just tapping a screen, no. You had to press a button and wait for almost as long as the duration of the tape. Can you be silent for a sec so we can hear the guy, Joe? You can practically hear the rats through the telephone when he called me last April. In spite of that, old Joey sounded quite happy when last we spoke. More like the excited, hopeful young man I knew once upon a time. <sighs> well, farewell, my friend. What will become of your creations now? What was that audio tape about? Well, from as much as I could hear, it seems like Joey Drew mysteriously disappeared with no reason or lead as to why which means someone or something might have taken his life or he himself has disappeared. Someone must have likely taken him out because the guy on the tape said he seemed very cheery before his disappearance. Seems the most logical outcome. Now the question is why? Guess we'll find out eventually. I can't with this game. What was that noise? Why is this game like this to me? Neither of us know. Just investigate the noise with caution. What is that? What is this place, a toy factory or something? Wait, I think I know this place. This was that one chapter where we met Alice Angel, who was a cynical person before she died. You mean that girl on the drawings in the music box from earlier? Yes, that's exactly who I'm talking about. Oh, you're serious? She's such a pretty lady and you're telling me she's dead? Oh my gosh, Joe. Wait, Donnie, you said you knew this place before? Yes, Obama, I've seen this place in the first game, which might mean wherever we are, we're close to one of the other places I was at as well. Shoot, this seems like its power is out. There's that wall that we likely can climb up on, so try that. This wall, I'm pretty sure, was not climbable before, so this will be interesting to go to. Oh, oh my, my gosh, gosh, what, is, what that? is that? Oh my gosh, Audrey, move out of the way. Joe, as soon as you get to move, run immediately. Where the heck am I supposed to run? To? I don't know, Joe, just run. Find the closet. Those are the only places you can oh hide. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Jesus, go away, you freak. Get out of here. Phew, that was close. Barry, what on God's green earth was that high-pitched screaming you were doing? Oh no, my high-pitched voice came out, didn't it? Wait, what the heck? That was you, Obama? I thought one of your daughters entered in your room or something. What the heck is that battery thing? What the heck? There are collectibles now? Were there none in the first game or something? Yeah, there really weren't any. This game surprising me, even in the in-game stuff drink too much of that if I were you. What the? Her again? Oh my gosh, who's that pretty lady? Wait, hold on, let me hear this out. Oh, okay, Obama. Easy now, I'm not gonna hurt you. I look like you needed some help. Don't touch me. What are you? Ugh, what is this horrible place? Yeah, I remember my first day down here. I know, it's scary. But you're actually pretty lucky. The machine could have turned you into a searcher. You mean that, that thing that attacked me? No, that's a Piper. And he's part of a gang, so be careful. I don't understand any of this. I can't think. It hurts. You'll catch on pretty quickly, if you can stay alive. Huh, stay alive. Lesson one. Searchers don't have legs, and they tend to swarm. Look, it's not good to stay in one place for too long around here. Keep moving, and stay close to the shadows. Take my advice. Head to the upper levels. It's safer there. Can I come with you? You can't. I'm sorry. I have a wolf. Oh yeah, that a-hole. Whoa, hey, are dangerous. we even allowed to oh, say that on this channel? Shush, like gentlemen. All right, all right. You'll catch on. Good luck. I hope we meet again. Oh, and one more thing. Above everything else, 
stay away from the Ink Demon. What's an Ink Demon? Well, you'll know him when you see him. He likes to smile, and he kills anything that moves. Wait! What's your name? They call me Alice. I'm not very fond of it. I'm Audrey. Well, Audrey, welcome to the studio. Wait, where'd she go? Alice, come back. There's so much I want to talk about. Oh my gosh, so the ink demon is alive, huh? Oh my gosh, wait, this is only chapter one. Are you kidding me? We're ending this video here. Oh, uh, all right, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's all right. I mean, we've hit a pretty good point in the video, and this has hit a pretty long duration. Yeah, I know. I just didn't expect Joe to announce it like that is all. This game is seriously too much for me, and we've only hit the first chapter. I can't continue this, or at least not for today but I'm curious enough to play this more. Wow, the first time I've ever heard Joe being invested in something. All right, everyone, that's going to wrap up this video for today. This was an interesting experience, not going to lie. If you enjoyed me having a heart attack, please give this video a like and subscribe. It'll help us and Jared push more of these kinds of videos out. Just don't expect these videos too frequently. All of us have our own business to attend to, especially me. Well, with that out of the way, take care, everyone. And, and God, God bless, bless you all. You all.